what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a my own steam generator and you're looking at the components nice big chunk of, of aluminum um, a bottom which I'll have to weld together and then weld on and then a top by the way I bent this yesterday that fits into this hose so that I've got basically a, a way to to vent my steam out this being the top piece we'll just sit on here like like so have a top right and I'll have a, a little hatch that I can put water in here I'm not going to make the thing so that it will will create a lot of pressure and become a bomb I don't think that's a good plan so it but it will be able to vent the vast majority of the steam into a pipe that I've shaped I've turned it into a square that's attached with about six more feet of this hose and I'm just doing it all by by hand it's kind of a fun thing so I I cut I cut an inch off of this this piece of uh, this is 50-52. Cut an inch off of that, um, bent it into this shape. I'm using a wire to sort of more or less hold it into shape. If I just had a hatch, I could open it up and pour a little water in, so that when like like I'm going to have to boil that much water to make this work. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I will. That's my project. I've got on long enough. Um, so. Why don't I? Is that cool? Is that freaking you out? Is that... Um, really, I'm trying to keep this camera stable. Alright, that's my job today. Not too bad. I think it'll work. Just set it over here where it can cool. So I get a little better as I go. Um, I don't know, they're not bad. We'll see. I mean, they have to hold water. Yep. About two hours. Um, that's been holding water just fine. Got my lid pretty much done. Put a little handle on it. I don't know if I'm going to need it. And I'm going to try to weld my little my little plug on. That's my next task. Cute. Don't fit in. Can't really get in there to weld it, but I was able to smooth it. So. But so this is getting close. I added a little cover. I'll just drill a hole in here, and then I'll just use I don't know. Like a silicone a piece of rubber, and I'll put it under here and just tap it down, just set a weight on it. Maybe I'll put, I don't know, maybe I'll put a screw in there and put a weight on it, but maybe make it like a handle. Just the idea is that, that it will be, that will just come out still, that it will be able to vent it. And, you know, this thing is big and heavy, so I decided tab, tab, and put a handle on it, sort of like, like a giant beer mug. With its own little you know, lid on it. I don't know what that is. Pressure vent. So, all right. Just wanted to update you. I don't want you to miss anything. Good morning. I just finished shoveling snow, and I also had to take a letter to the post office because I put it in my mailbox. It was snowing hard yesterday, and apparently, the guy who picks the mail up didn't see it. I also had to deliver a crate this morning. 
So we had to roll a 300 pound crate all the way down to the end of the street to a flat area and load it. So things are going pretty good today. I went ahead and just tacked it in three spots and then put some silicone under the crack here, you know, the crack between the top and, and the, um, the cylinder. So it holds, it holds um, pressure. Uh, this, of course, is the nipple for this pipe, and that is where I'll put my wood, just a smashed piece of, I believe that's three inch, three inch um, flue. This is uh, just a membrane, like one thirty second of an inch. Used high temperature silicone to glue these pieces on. This is the point at which it is right now. It's going to work pretty good, I think. I will set it over here on this hot plate. There's my version of a steam generator made out of junk and using other things that I have on hand. Looks pretty good. Look how simple this is. I bend a piece of metal, drill a hole in it, weld it. Same here. This piece, I just cut out, left the ear here and ear here, bend it up, drilled them. So now I've got what is a relatively simple, it's ugly, but I, it, it will be nice. I'm ready to test this thing. Um, it's not a cute handle, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, I don't know. It's not a. It's not like. It's not like an Italian work of art that that is going to be judged anywhere. It's going to make steam, and so I'm making excuses for its relatively weird appearance. So I've been cleaning up, waiting for this thing to go. It's been about 10 to 15 minutes. It's a thousand watt heater, but. We're starting to get a little bit of steam going now, so let's close that up. It's kind of slow, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it cool. I can see it was boiling in there, and I have some some well, I have some insulation that I'm going to wrap around this, around the sides of it, and tie I don't know tie it on somehow. And I'm also going to put some insulation around this because. If I can keep the heat contained, it'll heat up quite a bit better. It's starting to look like a bear bug. <laughs> or a big gulp. One of those things you get at Come and Go or 7-Eleven or Circle K, whatever, whatever your store is. Yeah. <laughs> kind of crazy. Anyway, that's ceramic insulation with that plastic on it. So that ought to hold some heat in there. I didn't want to tape, but I just put wire on it because water might, I don't know. I didn't want to make it real, real tight. I'll kill you. Bad, bad camera. Um, I left this out open because it leaks a little bit here. But that's pretty good. It's wrapped up nice. So it ought to help. Anyway, I just tied it with some wire and just stuck my ends pointed sort of down, you know, so it doesn't poke me. That ought to be fine. Um, yeah, and in the beer mug. I kind of like that. I'm starting to, I'm growing fond. I'm growing fond of it. All right, I'll continue. All new improved. So wrapped up, covered up. I like that cover. That's really nice. Making headway. Damn it, I keep kicking this chair. Check that out though. This is Probably about half of the time that, of my first test. It's probably been up for 20 or 25 minutes. I had it up for over half an hour anyway. I don't know. So that's really good. And it's hot too. Just to give you an idea without burning myself. I'm getting 176.3. Open up a little hatchway here. It is hot. So... You know, it's boiling, but it's not, it's not hugely energetic. This is not a very strong heater. 
which is okay with me. I, I don't mind that. Um, I'm curious. I don't think it's even a thousand watts. I don't know what I've got turned up to. I got turned up to the top. Okay. I could, if I really wanted to, take one of my um, watt meters and check this and just see what the total wattage is of this. Um, wanted to update you about the little steam generator, which is now sitting here, taken apart. Well, when I say taken apart, I unattached to the hose, which is actually sitting over here. So I went ahead and, and ran it a second time. Um, I, the last, the last little clip of video, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> was me bending a, a piece of wood around this form, which is actually my main project. So this is a side project, and this is the piece of wood that was bent. So, how pretty is that? Well, it's pretty. Um, so as you can see, it did good. So this works beautifully. It, it boils just, it's a gentle boil. It puts out enough steam, especially with the insulation. I did want to point out to you that that this plastic material that I've wrapped these these pieces in is a real high temperature plastic. It won't burn. Um, I think it, so I think it's like about 800 degrees or 900 degrees. But it, as you can see, there it is on the well, yeah, on the bottom of the of the um, little tank, and that is probably within a half of an inch of the element of the burner and it seems to work really well. Just so you know, if I were building this for someone else, it would be really pretty. It would look really nice. I, I do that kind of work for other people, but if I'm building something for myself, sometimes it's fun to just, sometimes it's just fun to just build and not be so concerned about the, um, about the physical appearance of the thing. And then you get this. <laughs> and you know, I think it's kind of cool. I think it's, it's it's an interesting game. By the way, it would make a good beer mug. You notice that would be a place where you would just drink like a straw. I suppose you could put your favorite whatever in here along with ice cubes. Fill it up with whatever. And then there you go. Um, take it with you everywhere. Take it biking. Take it on your bicycle. <laughs> and take it hiking. It's only about eight pounds. 